Om Namah Shivaya students, welcome to your value education class. Uh, in our previous class, we have already discussed about Niskramana Samskara and in today's class, we will start with Anaprasana Samskara. The first feeding of solid food to the baby, usually in the sixth month after birth, is the occasion of Anaprasana Samskara. Nature has provided the ideal food for the newborn infant that is mother's milk. No substitute, no other milk, no formula, no food stuff, more perfectly satisfied all the baby's nutritional needs. Yet, according to Shushutta, the famous Ayurvedic sage of ancient India, around the sixth month after birth, the growth is the child begins to require more varied nourishment. Naturally, great care should be taken while introducing the baby to other foods. The food selected should be simple, easy to digest, pure and nutritional so that uh, they strengthen rather than strain or imbalance the baby's system. Under Prashan Sanskara, the ritualized first feeding of solid food to a baby guides the parents in introducing the child to solid food. The mother is also thereby guided in concluding uh, breastfeeding, which otherwise might continue even beyond the first year in some cases. However, this is not the samskara's only purpose. Uh, so, well begin can mean a lifetime of health. The Taitriya Upanishad says that man is a product of the uh, essence of food. As such, it is said that if our food and water Consumption is disciplined and balanced during uh, our first 25 years. The remaining 75 years of life will be healthy. Whereas, if in our first 25 years we eat just to satisfy hunger and gratify our taste buds, our health will be poor for the remainder of our lives, even if we try to eat carefully. So, well begun is of great importance concerning the diet of a child. Annaprasana Sanskara raises the parents' awareness of their responsibility to provide a balanced, healthy diet for the child. Uh, following preliminary ceremonies, the baby is fed its first solid food, uh, a mixture of, that is a mixture of cooked cereal, curd, ghee and honey. The child is given four small spoons full of this mixture to the chanting of various prayers. One prayer is to all plants and another to water that they make the child healthy and strong. These prayers invoke the grace of the divine to protect against all waterborne and foodborne illnesses. And so, at the beginning of the baby's lifelong reliance upon food and water for subsistence. The course is set for discipline, balanced and conscious eating. This can only result in improved health, strength and vitality throughout a person's life. People consider it is a great blessing to take their children to a famous temple or to their spiritual master for performing their samskaras. So, now, next is Karnaveda Samskara. Karnaveda Samskara usually performed in the 6th or 7th month after birth consists of the piercing of the baby's earlobes. So, earring may be what? The piercing of the earlobes is said to stimulate subtle nerves located there. This results in sharpening the senses. Sushrutta adds that this Samskara may prevent certain diseases like uh, uh, hydrocele and hernia. Again, through the stimulation of the subtle nerves, there is, of course, although the decorative advantage of wearing earrings. The procedure of the samskara, which is of much later origin than most of the samskaras, is simple. The day of the samskara should be an auspicious one in the bright half of the month. First, Various deities as well as the sun, the moon and cows are worshipped. The child sits uh, facing east and the goldsmith first pierces the right ear of the boy or left ear in the case of a girl while ch uh, chanting a Vedic verse. 
uh, then the other ear is pierced with another verse. The needle may be either of gold, silver, copper or iron and the ceremony is concluded by giving presents to the Brahmins and then goldsmith and astrologer. And the next is Churakarna Samskara. At the end of the first year after birth or during the third year, the child's hair is saved all but a tuft on the top of the head. This ritual saving of hair performed with ceremony, prayers and chanting of Vedic hymns is Turakarna Samskara. Since this samskara is for both boys and girls. So hair, uh, hair is considered symbolic of impurities. Indeed, modern science recognizes that hair consists of three layers of dead cells and dead things are generally considered impure. And the saving of hair symbolizes the remo uh, removal of impurities. And the tangible and immediate results of this saving is greater happiness, vitality, beauty, lightness, strength and, and other, some others. Uh, the ultimate purpose of this rite uh, and of keeping the head saved is to prolong life. Uh, so generally the samskara begins with preliminary ceremonies and prayers. Food is fed to the Brahmins and the child is bathed and dressed. After making oblations and prayers to the barber and the razor itself, the, the hair is disheveled uh, uh, with a porcupine, porcupine quill. Next, it is saved from left to right with him and prayers chanted for purification, safety, fame and intelligence. Only the tuft of the hair near the top of the head is left and the performance of this samskara is the only permitted occasion for cutting of a girl's hair. The Baba himself is considered for representative of what? Surya who is the giver of effulgence. Surya it is said saved the other deities through uh, this their luster was enhanced and after that they appear brighter more radiant and the first sign of the intended results of the right okay now why is a tuft of hair left remaining near the top of the head because this tuft is needed for other rituals that a man will perform during his life including the important of uh, in, um, important upanayan samskara even uh, on a daily basis uh, following the daily shower, the water in the tuft is offered to the pitris. And this is why the pitris are said to attend the performance of Churakarna. For them, uh, this point on, they will receive this offering of water. And Shushrutta, the Ayurvedic authority of ancient times, notes a further reason for leaving the tuft. He states that, just at the point near the top of the head is a white spot called Adipat. He says that injury to this point can cause sudden death. And this stuff does provide some protection to this critical point. With this vital point uh, protected by the tuft of hair and the vitality, strength and happiness enhanced by the saving of the rest of the head. The right effectively increases the luster and length of life. And with this, we are uh, concluding this chapter. So students, uh, try to read this chapter thoroughly. And if you have any query, you can ask through WhatsApp. And wait for the next video. Till then, goodbye. Om Namah Shivaya.